Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. So today's video is the second edition of our fragrance favorites, holiday edition, Christmas edition. Um, I'm so excited for this video. So today's video is going to be talking about my favorite peppermint scents of all time. And like Christmas tree scents, peppermint is one of those notes that so many people just love at the holidays. It's just a really special fragrance. And I would say that next to a Christmas tree scent, a good peppermint scent would be um, one that I would definitely recommend um, you have in your holiday line. Um, but anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, then I hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep on watching. So if you are new to fragrance favorites, the way that these videos work is I'm going to be talking about, as I mentioned, my favorite peppermint scents of all time. So in order to rank in the series, the scent has to do really well for me in my own candle line in terms of sales and or extensive testing. And usually honorable mentions, um, are because they haven't had extensive testing and, or they haven't been in my candle line for too long. Um, but yeah, so, and I also like to mention that there is always a chance that a fragrance that I really will like or that has done well for me may not do well for you or a fragrance that you really like or that does really well for you I may have on my fails list. And that is just because fragrance is gonna be very subjective. So I do always recommend that you do your own testing. But that mentioned, this series is intended to just kind of give you somewhere to start because there are so many different fragrances out there. And yeah, so let's get right into these. In my number three position, and I, a lot of you are gonna ask me, Alan, why is this in your number three position? Like you went on and on and on about this scent. And some people thought that when I first smelled this on my video, um, which I will try to link above, that it was my favorite um, peppermint fragrance of all time. And um, that wasn't true, even though it was one of my favorite fragrances I have smelled out of the bottle of all time. Um, I cannot rank this one higher because of the fact that it has not been something that has been in my candle line for at all. Um, this is going to be a new fragrance for me this year. Um, I did actually make activated charcoal cold process soaps though with the scent and they did do really well. This is a very good fragrance for making soap and category nine does have a max of 11.75%. Not that you would ever want to use even half that in your soaps. Um, but yeah, I did use 5% of this in my cold process soaps and the scent is out of this world. Um, it just behaved really well for me. I have had some people um, say that this scent can do color morphing, but I did not experience any of that with the activated charcoal that I used. Um, but yeah, so this fragrance is Iced Vanilla Woods by Midwest. I probably should have shown you the bottle earlier, but um, there's something wrong with some suspense, right? Um, and yeah, this is definitely like a peppermint vanilla type of a scent. Um, you do get a lot of complexity to this one and it does kind of lean more of a unisex to maybe masculine type of a scent but it's so luxe smelling in my opinion and so cozy and it's like you're just it is all the joy like in a child's eyes at christmas and it's all the maturity of a couple that has been together for a really long time enjoying the holidays and it's just this picturesque like snow is coming down and you're on a candy cane lane type of a trail um yeah this set reminds me actually of when i was little and i would go to the fernwood nature center and they had a lighted trail in the winter time where they had these like lights on the side of the trail and you could walk down it and they had all the trees like decorated and it was just this lighted nature trail and um, you could go in and see Santa and all that. And for kids, you get so excited. And they always gave us these peppermint candies afterwards. Um, and yeah, 
this scent reminds me of that experience. Um, not of just the peppermint candies, but of the whole experience. Like it has this warmth, this inviting complexity. Um, like if you're a fan of very, um, not very vanilla, it's nothing like very vanilla, but if you're a fan of the Bath and Body Works scent, um, Vanilla Bean Noel, or if you're a fan of French Bourbon Reserve by Midwest, or if you are a fan of Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath & Body Works, or cashmere or flannel type scents, I think you would really probably like this fragrance. Um, but anyways, yeah, this one ranks in number three, just because I have not had this in my candle line long enough to um, rank it higher. So in my number two position, we have a fragrance that so many customers year round have asked me for because it originally started out in my Pride collection and I did this whole collection two years ago during Pride month. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm transgender myself. And, um, but yeah, so this fragrance was my Breathe Easy fragrance in my Pride collection and I've also had this in my Winter Wonderland collection for, this is gonna be my third winter. And um, people will ask me year round for this scent. And this is Peppermint and Eucalyptus by Candle Science. Now this fragrance does lean, in my opinion, more spa-like. And I definitely could see this fragrance being one that you would have year round, but it really sings at the holidays. And this is actually a scent that I personally do not like myself. Um, it just, I don't know, there's something about it that kind of just smells like maybe toothpaste to me. Like it's definitely a more spa-like toothpaste, but it's just not for me personally. I would say you get like a 50-50 of the peppermint and the eucalyptus. And the reason that this one ranks number two, like I said, is just because it sells so well for me. And yeah, so peppermint and eucalyptus by Candle Science um, is gonna be in my number two position for my favorite peppermint fragrance of all time. And for my number one position, this is a fragrance that has been in my Winter Wonderland collection. This is gonna be the third year for this one, but this is a fragrance that isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and it is one of my all-time favorite fragrances of the winter season. And my customers, I can, this is like one of the fragrances along with my Douglas Fir and my Mistletoe, uh, Kiss fragrance um, is how I sell Mistletoe by Candle Science. Um, this fragrance I can barely keep in stock. And this is North Pole by The Flaming Candle. This fragrance smells like a peppermint patty. And it is so magical and just so like festive and uh, it's just a peppermint patty to a T. And that is exactly how I sell this one. After the Charlie Brown character, Peppermint Patty, who I grew up with around the holidays, always watching that movie with my sister. My mom would always play the Peanuts um, when I was a kid for every holiday. Um, but this to me reminds me of her theme as well as a peppermint patty. And so, yeah, so this fragrance by far is my best peppermint seller and my favorite peppermint fragrance of all time. And for the honorable mentions, we do just have one fragrance today and that is gonna be Twisted Peppermint by Aztec. And this fragrance is one that um, I like it. It's definitely um, more close to like the essential oil type of peppermint. Um, it's very light out of the bottle as well, which is one of my complaints with a lot of their fragrances, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, Twisted Peppermint BBW Type, I would say that if you like Twisted Peppermint by Bath & Body Works, it is a spot on dupe for that fragrance. That's a scent that I grew up with. Um, I'm very, very familiar with it in soaps and lotions. Like my mom would, at the holidays, always be in that store. But that was a scent that when we would get that one home, like it was a scent that my sister and I tended to like. Um, but yeah, this Twisted Peppermint, I would say is a spot on dupe for that fragrance oil, but it is not one that 
I use in my own line because it's just too light for me personally. And um, there's other peppermint fragrances that I do like more. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. We do not have any fails today. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what your favorite peppermint fragrance is around the holidays. I am so excited to hear what you all have to say um, on what peppermint fragrances you like. Also, leave me a comment down below of what other types of holiday fragrance favorites videos you would like to see in the future. I was thinking of maybe doing one on my favorite like holiday spice type fragrances or my favorite winter fruity fragrances, um, but let me know if those categories seem interesting to you or maybe my favorite sugar sugar cookie fragrances or my favorite gingerbread. Like, I don't know. I I'm a little bit obsessed with fragrances if you all haven't realized by now and proud. So I can kind of, you know, I've probably tried five different gingerbread scents um, or more. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'm sending everyone peace, love and light. And I'm wishing all of you happy candle making.